What is going on guys? Tactical Bacon here and welcome to episode 2, I believe this is, of H1Z1. Uh, so today I'm not really going to be playing with anybody, I'm just going to be going over a few things here and there. A uh, few things about H1Z1 and then obviously a few things about the schedule here on my channel. Um, so to just go ahead and get right into things, we're going to start talking about the major issues that a lot of people are talking about on H1Z1's Reddit page. Uh, if, if I guess if you want, there's going to be a link in the description where you can go read all that kind of stuff for yourself. But I think the most talked about things right now, or at least some of the things that kind of stood out to me at least to discuss, um, number one is that base building is kind of pointless right now according to much of the community. Um, personally, I've not built a base, I've just been trying to go around and find loot. Uh, as you can see, I found a backpack which has a bolt capacity of a thousand, I believe it is. Um, you know, just a little simple bow and arrow that I crafted and then, you know, I'm hopefully going to be finding some stuff here in this video. Uh, yeah, there's a bulk of 600. I'm not exactly sure because they look pretty much the same. But anyways, um, yeah, people are saying that base building is pointless in the game right now. And all I can really say to that is it's early access alpha, guys. I mean... Daisy standalone's early access alpha had nothing in the first couple of weeks to the first couple of months, really, as far as anything really too interesting that you can get into. Um, and I mean, they still haven't even added base building as a standalone. I mean, they only have, I mean, obviously, they've only got one working vehicle, as far as I know. I mean, I've only seen the cop cars that you can get into so far. But, I mean, you know, one vehicle for H1Z1, really, maybe two, um, maybe even three. But Daisy Standalone only has that Ural shitty looking thing that could still be glitched. I don't know, I've never been in one before on Standalone. But people are saying that base building in the game is pointless right now. Uh, they're saying that base raids are too easy and that there's not really any reason to build a base. And, like I said, it's early access alpha, guys. I mean, they're gonna take care of all that kind of shit eventually. Um, I think most of the times in alpha stages of games, they try to get everything stabilized. And then when it goes into beta, they start to take care of the little tiny details here and there before they finally release it for their final product. Um... But yeah, I mean, just just give them time. I mean, they're patching the game, it seems like, every day. They're updating it. They're fixing things that break, and by doing that, sometimes you end up breaking something else that needs to be fixed. So, I mean, really, all it's going to take is time for this game to get better as far as base building is concerned. Um, apparently, jumping out of a moving vehicle doesn't cause any damage or death. And to that, I can say, cool, but at the same time, I can see where people would kind of be taken out of the game in that aspect, because it's a open-world survival zombie game, and people want things to be realistic. Well, number one, zombies are not real. Like, like the kind of zombies that they have in this game are not real. The possibility of a zombie type disease or zombie type outbreak happening while very very small it's still a possibility that zombies could be real but at the same time right now they're not so i don't really know why people are saying oh it's not realistic e enough you know you can jump out of a moving vehicle and not get hurt in any way shape or form motherfucker Zombies are not real. The apocalypse did not happen. You are playing a video game. I, I don't understand people's issues with this. Um, oh, well. That's actually kind of cool that they kind of boarded this thing up. i still having issues with crouch and sit down. I'm not exactly sure why they would put a sit down key so close to the crouch key, but whatever. I'm not the guy that developed this. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know... People who are complaining that the game's not realistic enough, uh, I'm, I'm really not sure what to say to those people. Like I said, it's a video game, zombies are not real, 
the apocalypse has not happened yet, and it probably won't happen for a while. I'm just not exactly sure what to say. See, personally, one of the issues I am kind of having with the game a little bit is the fact that you can hear footsteps from what seems an ungodly distance away. You can hear footsteps. And I guess that it's kind of helpful, but at the same time, it gives your position away. I have no space for a wood axe. Let me see what I can get rid of. I guess I can put the binox in the backpack. And take wood axe. Hold on, I'm hitting E. There we go. This is the first time I've actually gotten an axe before. Something better than a bow and arrow, I hope. But yeah, and uh, I think one of the last major issues that people were really talking about on the Reddit page were, or was, that the, that apparently there's some kind of issue with too many zombies. Honestly, I think the most zombies I've had on me at once was two zombies. And it's really not that difficult. I mean, all you have to do is just hit them, back up, hit them, back up, move to the side. And then eventually they just fall down like that little cocksucker right there. I mean, it's really not that tough. I mean, you know, if, if, if you guys are thinking that there's too many zombies in this game, then I invite you guys to go back to Daisy Mod. Or, I don't know, there wasn't really that many zombies. I mean, there can be that many zombies in Daisy Mod. If you're, like, in a city and you start firing off a shotgun or, like, a 50 cal. Or not a 50 cal, but, like, you know, like, like a Desert Eagle. I mean, you know, any, any gun that you go in there and you do not have a silencer on that gun and you just start unloading in, like, a city like Cherno or Electro... Uh, on the Chinaris map, you're gonna get zombie aggro, and it's gonna be a lot more than just one or two. Three, four, five, I've had a group of seven or eight zombies just coming at me, smacking the shit out, out of me, because I fired off one round. So, I don't know, I mean, to the people that say that there's too many zombies in this game, I'm not really seeing that yet. I mean, just, just from my own personal experience. I mean, maybe you guys have run into different experiences before in this game, but me personally, I have not run into that experience yet. So, I mean, H1Z1, while it's still in early access, people are complaining, oh, this needs to be fixed, that needs to be fixed. Give the guys time. That's, that's all I can really say, is just give the developers time. Eventually, they are going to... Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, it keep, I keep drawing my bow back, and if you guys are wondering why I keep doing that randomly, it's because I'm so used to playing games like Arma 2 and Arma 3, where all you have to do is hold down the right mouse button, and it'll actually zoom in at the area that you're pointed to, but I guess... Oh. Wait. What? The fuck? Why can I not look down... Maybe I have to go into first person... That's... Okay, yeah. Yeah, I just had to go into first person. Okay. Sorry, I, I get thrown off track sometimes when games are not agreeing with what I'm trying to make them do. But yeah, like I said, you know, it's early access alpha. It's, it's going to take them a while. Hopefully not too long, but it's going to take them a little while to figure out what issues people are having in the game and then fix those issues before a final product comes out. And if people think that everything's going to be fixed and everything's going to be perfect in beta, think again, because, I mean, it's going to be beta. It's not a full version of the game yet. So, I don't know, just weird little complaints from people, and I just kind of felt the need to address them. Because, I mean, honestly, if you guys are watching this video, you care a little bit about my opinion, I would hope. So, yeah, that's kind of what I feel about the whole subject, or that's kind of how I feel, rather, about the entire subject. Just give the guys time if you're playing this and you get frustrated with something like loot spawns. Uh, the first couple days I played this game, loot was nowhere to be found. I think, oh man, I'm trying to remember what kind of loot did I find on the first time I played this. I think I found a pair of jeans and a couple of empty water bottles, but that was pretty much it for the first couple days. That was all I was able to really find. And I don't know. I mean, it, it got fixed. 
you know? I mean, so far I've been able to find this blue backpack, this green and yellow hat, a uh, few little knickknacks here and there, some canned food and shit like that. So I don't really think that, you know, it's going to take forever for them to fix things and implement new things into the game. I mean, obviously they don't want to implement too many new things into the game because when you start doing that, it breaks other things, unfortunately. So... I don't know. It's it's just kind of weird how people react, especially when a game is in its early access or early alpha stages. It just kind of boggles my mind. So, I don't know. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and stop talking about the issues that people are having with H1Z1 or at least the at least some of the most talked about issues that people are having with H1Z1 at the current time and go into a uh, discussion on the schedule for the channel. Um, for those of you that may or may not know, when I started my channel, I think it was a little over a year and a half ago that I started doing YouTube. <clears throat> I started doing YouTube basically doing Call of Duty Black Ops 2 videos. Uh, it was right before Call of Duty Ghosts came out, a few months beforehand, I believe. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to start a YouTube channel and I'm going to do Call of Duty videos because... I fucking love Call of Duty and first person shooters are the shit and blah, 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 blah. And I don't know. Call of Duty Ghost came out and I was like, wow, this is, this is awful. This is just an awful, awful game. I mean, I'm sure people didn't have issues with it who were on like PS3 or Xbox 360 or uh, the next, quote unquote, next gen consoles. Yeah, if I'm a fucking PC purist um but yeah i mean there was just so many issues with that game but i mean that's that's another video I, i've already made a video discussing my issues with that game so i'm not going to go into it right now but yes this originally was a call of duty channel and then i just kind of went from call of duty to battlefield 4 and then from battlefield 4 to not uploading anything really at all and people kept requesting that I upload new content. And I was like, well, I don't really play Battlefield or Call of Duty anymore. But I have been playing DayZ Mod. And I guess I could go ahead and start uploading some of that kind of stuff for you guys. So I was like, alright, fuck it. I'm doing away with the whole first person shooter Call of Duty Battlefield 4 bullshit. And I'm just going to do videos on DayZ Mod. I put out two videos on the Chinaris map and one video on Taviana and that was pretty much it for DayZ Mod. So right or as of right now I'm announcing that new videos on the DayZ Mod uh, I believe it's going to be DayZ Overpock. Yeah, it's going to be DayZ Overpock season 1 is going to be starting very soon. Um, I'm not exactly sure if we're going to stick to one map for the entire series or I'm, I'm thinking what I want to do is I want to jump around from different maps for each season. Uh, say, for instance, one season is going to be on Lingor. That's going to be the first season that we're going to start is on Lingor. And say the next season takes us to Taviana. The season after that, say, takes us to Namalsk. Uh, the season after that takes us to Chinaris. Just as an example, I want to do different maps for different seasons. Um... If there's anything different about anything that I just kind of mentioned that you guys would want to see out of a Daisy Overpock mod series, then do let me know in the comment section down below. It would be really, really great to get y'all's feedback on that kind of stuff. But yes, um, I'm going to be doing Daisy mod. That's coming back soon. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, Altus Life is actually going to be changing to the Life or the Revolution Life mod. Um, I'm, 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 I'll, I'll be getting more in depth with that kind of stuff in, in its own video, pretty much. Um, I mean, Altus is a great map for Wasteland. It's a shitty map if you're trying to drive around and run drugs. I mean, it takes 40 minutes to an hour sometimes just to go to the cocaine field and the cocaine processor and then the drug dealer and do all that kind of stuff Sometimes it just takes way too long and it's way too time consuming and it just seems like you make so such a small amount of money 
and so in what seems like such a long amount of time and i don't know it's just altus is not great for that kind of or for that kind of mod uh, it, at least in my opinion, it's not that great. You know, you, you guys may have other opinions on it, and that's cool. But in my opinion, it's just a fucking huge map to do all that kind of stuff on. So, we're going to be moving to a more, or I'm going to be moving, rather, to a more smaller and compact-sized map. Um, hopefully, eventually, I'll be joined by some other people later on in that series. But like I said, I'll, I'll be getting more in-depth with that kind of stuff uh, in, in its own video. Um, so yeah, Altus Life changing to Revolution Life, uh, Daisy Mod is coming back, obviously we got H1Z1 that will continue on the channel, you guys, I mean, e e even if one person, one person wants more H1Z1, then I'm gonna upload more H1Z1, that's just the way I work, that's just the way it is. So, H1Z1, Daisy Mod, Revolution Life... And Breaking Point. Breaking Point is actually going to be making a comeback. Uh, Breaking Point Season 1, I believe, is going to be starting either sometime in the first couple weeks of February. Maybe in the third week of February. I'm not exactly sure yet. But I hear that a lot of progress is being made for Breaking Point mod. And I definitely want to check it out. And I know Gunther wants to play it. I know Spooge wants to play it. And yeah, all that kind of stuff. So... I don't know. I mean, if you guys want to see something, uh, something specific out of any of those kind of videos that I just mentioned, then do let me know, and I will try to do my best to make sure that that's covered for you guys. I mean, I'm trying to do everything I can to make you guys happy, because, I mean, obviously you guys come to the channel, you subscribe, you like the videos, you watch the videos, you comment on them, whatever and it's all good and i want to give you guys what you are wanting out of this channel <coughs> excuse me but yeah i want to give you guys what you what you're coming here to watch basically so like i said if you guys have any suggestions if you guys want to see any kind of specific things just let me know in the comment section down below and like i said i'll do what i can to get to that kind of stuff but uh oh i think that was my I think that was a player. Or a zombie. I'm not exactly sure. Huh. I'm sorry. I get, so, sometimes I get sidetracked whenever I see a possible enemy player. It's just because I don't want to... Okay, well, I, I guess that was a zombie. I don't know. Hmm. I think I'm gonna keep heading down here and probably I'll probably end up ed editing around all this kind of stuff but I think there's a town that I passed earlier that's just this way so I'm gonna head over that way and see what kind of shit I can get into alright holy shit there's two guys down here in the street not exactly sure what they're Holy fuck, I'm not exactly sure why I was humping that tree. But I'm also not exactly sure what these guys are up to. Um, kind of just looks like they're running around. Maybe the other guy is trying to intimidate the other one? I'm not exactly sure. Saw some guys named Ass Juice. I guess that's... That's a, that's a cool name to have. Well, it looks like they're just kind of... One of them just kind of ran off into the distance, it looked like. I don't know how I should approach this. Uh, I guess I'm... I guess I'm gonna try to kill these guys. I don't know. Um, I did, however, manage to uh, come across a compass. Okay, I thought that was another player. Sorry. Some Sometimes the zombies, at first glance, they just seem like other players to me. Until I see them just kind of like staggering around and walking. Um, but yeah, I did end up getting a compass, and one of the, one of the kind of cool features about a compass is, like, basically whenever you move around, it kind of tells you what position you're going in, in the, uh, top right-hand corner of the screen. Wait, did these guys just come Oh, what is this? All-purpose... Oh, I don't have any... Fuck. I want to know what those all-purpose goggles do. Oh, there they are! Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go. 
I was just about to say, I don't know if these guys just disappeared or what happened. Let me see if I can... Wait, is there three guys? Or are they getting chased by a zombie? Not exactly sure. I want to kill these guys. I don't know why I want to, but I do. Oh, wait, there's something. No, they're okay. They're they're getting chased by a zombie or two, and <laughs> that arrow did nothing. You're gonna have to remember to arch them up way high, even if you're just shooting like 60 to 100 feet. All right, I guess I'll just go ahead and take out the hatchet. Uh, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Kill him! All right, there we go. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think it was just gonna take two hits to put him down. I guess. I don't know. Where's Where's the other guy though? Cause that other guy's gonna come up out of nowhere and kill me, isn't he? Fuck. This is not good. This is not good. I lost the other guy. Where is he? Uh. Oh God. Oh god, yeah. Let me see. It's funny how sometimes the zombies will just freeze like that, I guess, after you kill them. There he is, there he is, there he is. Alright, let's see. Come here, motherfucker. Oh, you're gonna try to use a pistol on me. No, that's not a pistol, that's a fucking bow and arrow. Come here, you motherfucker. Ah! Quit fucking jumping around, you bitch. Son of a bitch, this guy's fucking... I mean, he's very, very predictable. I, I think he got me there. Alright, it slowed me down for a second. I can't... I can't tell if that was a hit or not. This guy is really, really predictable with his fucking jump, turn around. Oh, come on! <laughs> Alright, well, that was... That was pretty much my first kill, and... I think it was my third or fourth death in this game. Anyways, if you guys or uh, if you guys have enjoyed this gameplay, uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, please leave them down below. If you guys have enjoyed this gameplay, uh, please be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have on my channel. H1Z1, uh, as I said, breaking points coming back, Daisy mods coming back, all that kind of good stuff. And uh, yeah, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you in the next one.